the TCP handshake. If you are a network engineer right now or a network security engineer like me, then you gotta know the three-way TCP handshake at a deep level. You have to know about window sizes, maximum segment sizes, you have to know what a don't fragment bit is, or how to capture a TCP handshake using a Cisco ASA command line or a Linux command line. You have to know exactly how to dance with a TCP connection like HTTPS or RDP or SSH to do your job. You have to know how to rate limit TCP traffic or configure the connection timeouts for an embryonic connection. Highly technical stuff that can be on the heavy side of being getting really complicated really fast. For the CISP exam though, you just need to know one concept, and that's that every TCP connection around the world in every instance has to have a TCP handshake before anything happens. You want to go to a website? You need a TCP handshake. Want to create a remote connection to your desktop from your house to your job? You need a TCP handshake. Do you want to send email? TCP handshake. Or do you just want to sit on the couch and watch some Netflix? Or do you want to check the balance in your bank account online or on your phone? You need a TCP handshake for all of that. And this is how it works. Remember our client server model in the last video? We talked about how all networking is at a high level is that a client is trying to make a connection to a server. That's all that it is at a high level. That's what networking is. A client in network one wants to make a connection to retrieve a web page on network two's web server. Remember that? If not, just check the previous video. Okay, for that to happen, we need to have a TCP three-way handshake before any data is passed back and forth, before any web pages is sent from the web server to the client machine. The client Jack makes a first connection to the web server, and the first packet he sends to the web server is called a SYN packet. SYN stands for synchronize. Once the destination web server receives this packet, it goes, cool, I got a SYN packet from some computer on the internet, which is Jack's machine, and uh, that machine wants to make a connection with me, me, the web server. Let me be a good web server and send them back a message stating that I acknowledge their SYN packet, and I also want to send a SYN packet of mine back as well. And that's called a SYN ACK. This packet that the server sends back to the client is called a SYN ACK. So the client, Jack, sends a SYN, the web server receives it, and the web server sends back a second packet called a SYN ACK, a synchronized packet of their own, along with an acknowledgement saying, hey, I got your first SYN packet. And when the client, Jack, receives this SYNAC packet, what do you think that machine sends back? Well, the web server sent a SYN packet and an ACK packet. The web server sent the ACK packet to acknowledge the client's first SYN packet. So, and then the web server sent its own SYN packet. So what do you think happens now? So now, Jack, the client machine, needs to send back an acknowledgement for the web server's SYN packet and it does so right here. So Jack now sends back an ACK for the SYN that the web server sent. It doesn't need to acknowledge the acknowledgement that the web server sent, that's already done. So now you have this completed handshake. A SYN from the client, a SYN ACK from the server, and an ACK from the client again. Once this occurs, they can now send messages back and forth like FTP files, or connecting via Telnet, or pulling up a web page. Anything that requires a TCP connection or watching this embedded video on this site. If you, um, <laughs> if you don't believe me, you can see this performed in real life. A lot of the stuff in the CISP are concepts, stuff you read about at a high level, but this is real actual hands-on stuff. You can actually see this happening in real life. If you have a Windows machine, you can download a program called Wireshark, which captures packets from your computer to anything going through your home internet or your office internet. And you're going to see SYN, SYN, ACK, ACK all over the place there. Because you're, if you're making continuous connections to new web pages, you're going to see the TCP handshake occurring at all times. So you fire up Wireshark, make a connection to the website, any website, preferably one that you haven't connected to before, and watch the actual SYN, SYN, ACK, ACK handshake happening as it would in the real world. So that's the TCP handshake. Uh, before any connect TCP connection, web server, FTP, SSH, a client sends a SYN, the web server sends, sends back its own SYN along with an act saying, hey, client Jack, I acknowledge your first SYN, and here's a SYN of my own. And then Jack acknowledges the web server SYN by sending back an act of its own. And then data starts flowing back and forth between the two machines. That's the TCP handshake. Thanks for watching.